Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. It's Dan Stern with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you about linked cells. What is a linked cell? Well, I'm going to go to the Developer tab and I'm going to insert an ActiveX control such as a checkbox or in this case I'm going to insert a text box right here. And it's a little zoomed in so I'm just making it a little bit larger. And what I'm going to do is when I take it out of design mode and I start typing in my text box uh, maybe that's a little too big that'll work so when I start typing in my text box it doesn't do me a lot of good unless I have a macro that runs on a change event or something but if you wanted to make it easier on yourselves especially if you're working with numerals or something that you wanted to do um, a function say off of cell A1 in this instance um, you could do a linked cell and so whatever I type in here is going to automatically be typed onto cell A1 or whatever cell you want because it's linked to that text box or that checkbox um, so I'm going to show you that go into design mode under the developer tab and if you right click and hit the letter excuse me right click and hit the letter I for properties or click on properties so again, show that show you that again. Right click I for properties. If you go down to linked cell, I'm going to link it to cell A1 and hit enter. Okay, so now we're linked. Take it off of design mode. So anything that's typed into A1, including formulas, okay, will appear on this. And anything that's typed in this will appear in A1. So it's a backward it's a two-way street. The one caveat I want to mention is that yes I can type one two three four five six and it instantly and immediately updates that cell. Now I don't think that triggers a change event at that point um, for that cell but if you do something like this uh, it waits until you move away from that cell before it updates that linked cell on the text box so that's one thing you want to know also if you had a function like equals um, 1 plus 1 and hit enter you know the answer is 2 and uh, it reflects that in this linked uh, text box here what I want to show you though is you have this let's say you have this simple or complicated function in cell A1 um, if you change something directly to the text box, like if I typed in 1, 2, 3, it just overwrote everything that's in cell A1, and now A1 does not contain equals 1 plus 1. It contains the text string 1, 2, 3. So that's something you got to be aware of. Link cells can be wonderful, uh, but they can also be very tricky. So that's the thing I want to tell you is whenever you type in a text box, it's linked it's going to overwrite your beautiful formulas. Now let's say you had a label. Uh, I don't actually. I don't think the labels. Um, I don't think they have a linked cell. No, they don't. So that's another thing you need to be aware of is um, if you're going to do, let's say, a, a a linked cell with a text box, you may want to change the enabled to false, and uh, meaning that they they cannot type in the text box. It's more of a label type of thing. And uh, they can only, you know, update this. ASDF. And it updates the text box. And you could have the text box be on another sheet even. So I'm going to hit, hit Control X and put it on sheet 2. Control V to paste. So you see that the linked cell did, um, or is it? Here's A1. That should say, we need to say sheet 1 A1. Sheet 1 exclamation point A1 and hit enter. So now it will still be linked to this A1. So if I change this, let's say this was the background sheet equals 1 plus whatever's in B1. So B1 contains 91, that'll be 92 and this will reflect that over here. So it's like a nice little label. Um, you'd have to use VBA if you want a label to update, but it's not hard to do either. Uh, a couple other things. 
I'll go ahead and move this back to our original sheet. Control X and Control V. Um, let's do a checkbox. So here's a checkbox. I'm going to select the text here. And I'm going to say um, um, true question mark. I don't know. I couldn't think of something clever. But basically, that's right. A checkbox is either going to be true or false. True, false. Get it? Okay. So, but you can link that to a cell and have that be true or false. So let's do that. Design mode. And we got the properties open still. So let's make the link cell to this be A2. A. Okay, here's A2. Sorry, I have um, I have Type Pilot open, so it's giving us troubles about that. So when I click on this, true, false, true, false. So it'll always reflect whatever's going on here. Now, and also, if somebody were to change, or if there was a formula right here, um, if I typed in the word true, it would reflect that because this is linked. So what's useful about that? Let's say this was um, inactive or active status, you know, and they they said no, nope, they're inactive now. So you could do a formula based off of that cell. So you could say if that cell is true, then say the word active. Otherwise, inactive. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to hit enter, but I did. So this would be inactive. Now check this out. I'm going to change the linked cell to B2 for this one. And so whenever I change this, I'm thinking that that should say active or inactive in the text box there. And it does. It reflects whatever's in B2 based off of what's going on here. So there's lots of applications for this. I really don't like uh, making a text box disabled by making the enabled property to be false. I find that it's ugly because it forces the font color to be gray no matter what you try. And it's squirrely. Um, so, but um, there's a lot of things that you could do with that, especially if you wanted like a, a dashboard type of thing going on. You could have uh, text boxes and check boxes and things of that nature on uh, your front page. And then you could have things like this working a few simple functions in the background on, say, a sheet 2 or something that you, you know, hide that kind of a sheet. So you could have all the data running in the background. So that's kind of my, my very, very short um, spiel on what you can do with uh, link cells. Maybe if you guys want to put a comment about what you use link cells for. Um, but it's a pretty powerful tool. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.